कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकीनंदनाश We are very much concerned to have object, people, place, but we are not concerned that there are certain very hidden things in us that has a big impact in our life if we can bring it out at a conscious level. some very beautiful thoughts are there some very beautiful ideas are there but most of the beautiful things in this world is hidden ordinary stones are on the road but gold and diamond is hidden the wild trees are there but the sandal wood is hidden ordinary people are a lot who do lot of mistakes every day but saints are hidden mm-hmm. in other ways wise people are very less otherwise are quite more so what is very apparent outside is we go for it but more beautiful things and more beautiful ideas and more beautiful and more important things which is required in our life is hidden more than milk butter is important or ghee is important but that butter and ghee is hidden in the milk in the sesame seed the oil is hidden from your outer body inner vital organs are hidden so we have lot of things inside which we have not brought it outside we are only seeing something outside and trying to bring something from outside and get the outer world if we know that the joy that we are trying to get from the outside world there is much bigger joy in our mind which is hidden then we will become little nirapeksh and untouched by the outer circumstances and this is where saints excel they search that hidden fountain and unlock it and they unlock to that extent that they feel outer joys are nothing in compared to what i have inside the joy of meditation is much bigger than the joy of sensual pleasures the joy of attaching to the world is much smaller than the joy of attaching to the god but i have not brought that inner thing joy the joy of listening to satsang is much deeper and much long lasting than the joy of watching to some flimsy film kyo yes na <laughs> the joy of devoting 
and surrendering is much bigger than the joy of self-asserting. A person who devotes and offers himself at the feet of a god or a teacher, he has much bigger joy than the person who is self-assertive and who says, I will do what I like. I hope you agree with that. But these things are inside, things are not churned properly. They are not brought out properly. They are all in the debris of our vasanas and our immediate, what is it called, work pressures. We are grappling with the day and completing the task. We have no time to churn inside. And there is where, there is one help seat, help desk called Guru. He says, may I help you? <laughs> if you don't want to take help, he can't give, but you have to go there. <clears throat> hmm. And one thing which we have to find out, there is one question which should come in our mind. And the question what should occur in our mind, is that what I am aiming for right now? Is it it will give me what I really want? Where, what is the final destination of this relation which I am relating to? I am not concerned about the immediate sights. I am concerned I have Every thought or every relation is like some vehicle. It takes you to somewhere. Where it takes you, that we will see now. I hated you, supposing. Supposing I won't hate. So before disliking and hating, I should know that this vehicle of, or this thought of dislike, where is the end? Are you interested in the end product which is forever or you are interested in the immediate sightseeing for some time? Well, I don't think. I don't think. I just, what, what comes in my mind, I do. Don't do, don't do something wrong. Once we discover that the end product is this of this thing, if I hate somebody, the end product will be permanent disturbance. I am making one burning house in which I have to live. Burning train was there. There was some film. Burning train. Hindi film was there. Huh? Train was on fire. Achha. Huh? Okay. Nobody was saved. Huh? Saved? Okay. Answer Vedantic questions all that. So, <coughs> so, when you are seated on the car, or when you are seated, therefore I don't answer that. When you, are, when you are seated on the car, or you are seated on a particular flight, you always ask why, where it goes to ultimately. I take a car call attachment or I take a vehicle. Every I told you in every thought takes you somewhere. If I am too attached to somebody, that means I want him, some outer object and outer person I am very badly wanting. Definitely it will take me to lot of tension, lot of suppression, lot of depression. There will be immediate, some joys will be there, not that there is no joy. If there is no joint attachment, nobody will be attached. <laughs> there is some joy, why? Let us accept. Some imaginary joys are there. <clears throat> but ultimately it will take me to some kind of emotional bondage and I will be very much disturbed and I will be deen, I will become very deen, I will plead a lot. And I will wait for something to happen in future and presently I will be dissatisfied. 
I'll feel I'll feel lot of responsible because of that person. Unnecessarily, I will I will wear a false responsibility. And other person, because I had given him lot of att attention in the past, therefore he has become very he has leaned on me. And today, if I want to take my hand out of that responsibility, he will get wild. This is the end result. I am coming you. He won't. He will say, "What has happened to you? Are you got mad? You have no sensitivity left. <laughs> you become so hard." You cannot take out whenever you you want. You cannot drop the topic at will. You have made such a house in which there is some joy, but ultimately there is more sorrow than joy hundred times. This is the end product, and you will get rebirth if you are attached to boy or girl. You will get accordingly attached to dog. The birth is fixed. Thank God, cat had gone. <coughs> I was quite thinking that from this ashram, many will become cat. So, <laughs> so that worry has gone from me. <laughs> and that cat used to give lot of responses. She used to lie down. She used to play. <clears throat> huh? Huh. She used to rub herself against you, even if you don't want to touch. And she used to make herself very lovable. <laughs> But that cat was a sannyasi cat. I always say she left. <laughs> It is said in the Upanishad, "Yad ahare virajet, tad ahare pravrajet." <laughs> the day you have dispassion, you should leave. <laughs> and that cat lived. <laughs> Are you, boy? What is the end product you are supposing at, aiming at? I'm very angry on you. Are you very? okay? I'm angry on you. Fine. But after half an hour, one hour, what is your state? You will be. I don't like him. Okay, you don't like him, but you have to live with this thought of not liking him. When you want the end product of settled mind, peaceful mind, devoted mind. In between, I am not worried about sorrows and joys. Liking the food is one thing, and liking the health is another thing. Do you like food or you like health? Unfortunately, both are opposite many times. <laughs> If you like lot of food, immediately I want joy of the palate of the tongue. Then your health will be affected. But I like like lot of sugar. Sugar then be prepared for kidney problems. It is not good for kidney. But I like lot of salt, <laughs> and it will thicken your blood and increase your blood pressure. I like light of lot of snacks. It is not good for your stomach. You what? What you want at the end of the food? What you want? I want a painless body, agile body, alert body, alert mind. I want to eat that food which makes me get up early in the morning. I don't want to carry the food after I have eaten. Oh, I want to feel light. Rejuvenated. I don't bother in between if if the food was bland or if it was not. It was not that spicy. If it was not full of oils, etc. It I'll, I'll try it. I I my attention is on that, not of ten minutes of joy. I want long hours and long days and long life of joy. What you want, you first, but you first make it clear. Let this is called varan shuddhi. Let us make 
our choice first very clear after that you will think what to do what is that state of mind you want and you, that you want it should not leave <laughs> well i am not concerned about that immediately i like this person i want to be with him you don't know that attachment means a kind of madness like you are kept a mad person in your house so he'll shout he'll scream he'll throw so attachment means some kind of mad thought which wants something very urgently and he gets angry and wild this is the nature of attachment you get very well uh, i have ahankar i am a egoistic person i can't help it if you have egoistic person again mad person is sitting inside mad person means one who is illogically wanting importance who is against the logic of life is called ahankar who doesn't understand what I, what he thinks he is right he is he what he does he thinks is right what he what he thinks he is right is right he is he is totally totally he is understanding proof like your waterproof you can't drill understanding in him this is how our water is not working there bore bore water i think some some something has some blockage has come ah uh, what the pump is because something is blocking that mm, this is called ego or that because <laughs> the person is blocked he is not understanding because he is a mad person to the mad person you have made a mad person nourish in your mind who is not understanding the logic of living and you are you are in that station if you want the ahankar please say i want ahankar and i am working for ahankar go ahead only thing keep see what is the final product in your life I told you no one one day. I have yet to see one ahankari person who is happy. I'm not hinting to anybody. Don't worry. <laughs> you are all very happy. I have yet to see that who is not touchy, who is not totally off, who doesn't go wild all of a sudden, whose moods are like ECGs. Yesterday very good, today totally off, tomorrow very on. वंदे डांसिंग वंदे फ्लैट ऑन द बेड ये पागल आदमी है यार ये इज अ मैड गाय वाई यू आर सेइंग टूवर्ड्स मी ऑल दीज थिंग्स नो वाई शुड आई से आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग द नेचर ऑफ दिस मैडनेस एंड इफ सच अ मैड पर्सन इंटरनली आई मीन दैट पर्सन बिकम्स अ वाइफ और अ हजबेंड इमेजिन वॉट अदर पर्सन विल गो थ्रू always understand what other person is going because of me ab end station is this i have not thought that this is i am nourishing this thought what is happening to you what you are doing what you are thinking what is the impact about of your action in the people around you in your wife in your family in your father mother in your teacher in your society and in you also what is the effect of that totally a person is off and blind and curtained okay live as you want who can stop you it is when you churn with the help of teacher and you feel personally that i don't want this ahankar i don't want this attachment i don't want this hatred i want some kind of settled mind what is settled mind i'm coming to it i don't want this kind of ways that i have i don't want the station of any kind of despondency in my life then you become a seeker 
and then you go to the teacher and teacher says okay what what is worth choosing in this world what is worth wanting in this world tad vigyanartham sa guru me but but first he should know that this i should know it then no he approach the teacher and say i know everything and it takes many years even to understand what i should be having finally in my life to know even that i'm not saying getting i'm saying to know this i should be not having in my mind and this i should be having within me it takes lots of birth births not years <clears throat> we, we 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 are relations are there we make relation we do actions we are having rest we sleep we eat we have children we have grandson we have family we have what is it called uh, uh, recognition you have many things but where all these things have taken you ultimately having a particular relation where you have gone in your life you are already aged person where have you reached in your mind you work for 40 years i don't want i'm not asking how much money you have where mentally have you reached have you reached quietness which is scriptures talk of i'm not saying how much you did where is the destination <laughs> where is the destination i was telling about the destination gprs that shows gprs no? Huh? Hmm? GPS, GPS. When you go, on, when you have gone to cremation ground or crematorium, never put it, <laughs> because it will always say there you have reached your destination. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's your own life. So, what is that? What you really wanted? Yeah, pana kya chahiye? if i go to some new city supposing i go to some place dehradun suppose i go i say okay what is the best place to stay here and my attention is what is a temple or this temple is very good here this is best this is the best or if i go to supposing varanasi then i know what is the place vishwanath ji's darshan is there. so when you know that this body i have got for 70 years 60 years what is the best thing i could have attained through this body and through my mind and intellect that capacity to think what is best is to be churned and brought out this is not brought out in the schools and colleges when i bring out this capacity then i become a seeker with the help of with the help of teacher <clears throat> no then let the means be mean i don't want what you don't want i don't want fear in my life wow. i don't want to work till last and carry the burden of work i don't want to take care of anybody whole life enough of responsibilities every day call this person how is he how is he are let them be fine How is my son, grandson? All are fine. If they are not fine, let them be fine. Let them pay fine. I don't bother about that. I don't want till the last day that I have to talk about them, think about them. I want to be free from that area. I want to be action free, action free, responsibility free. <laughs> you want to be angry? No way! I want to be angry. Do zero anger. I want. you want to be attached somebody with you to be with you no i don't want anybody with me i want to be totally free from all emotional entanglements i'm telling you what is required and what to whatever situation is there samman is there apman is there honor dishonor i beat i want to be that nothing should happen inside really really i want to meditate a lot oh how many hours are at least 4 hour 3 hour How long meditate now? Five minute. That too, four minute goes in sitting. (laughs) 
30 second goes in pranayam 15 second goes in concentrating and time is over <laughs> but i don't like to be like that swami ji frankly speaking i was very angry the day before yesterday i don't like to be angry even if somebody is provoking i don't want to be angry i i want to be like that i'm not not like this what i am I'm totally totally devoted to god i want to be there first fix in your mind and be very attracted to what you want be passionate about this particular mind that you want there should be a lot of love for it okay i don't have but i, I want it so what you want fearlessness second was carefreeness no responsibility of anybody children grandchildren great grandchildren mother father ah! my food my no and cooking also i don't want to just i want to be quiet and even if the world third thing even if them disturbed outside i want to be undisturbed inside no action and all joy i should have i should do jap i should do puja i should not do anything still sit quietly that is your mind hmm. without meeting without talking i should be fulfilled even if i am meeting talking it is fine but not meeting mind should not pull somebody in my mind <coughs> mind should not throw anybody from my mind no attraction no repulsion no attraction no repulsion that kind of mind you want this by when <laughs> you are attracted no here only i am thinking about it whole day was quite busy <laughs> so much work was there tension was there and thinking about this relaxed goal i am getting tense now acha <laughs> so <laughs> learn to love this goal of life let me mad about this madless state <laughs> let me be very you know obsessed by that idea i am not meant for cheap anger and cheap passion and cheap disturbances and working day and night and reaching nowhere 40 years back also I was same today also the same mind is there i don't want to be like that hmm. this is called varan shuddhi when a person is decided this point <clears throat> and he is firm on it then he becomes he becomes a seeker and not only he becomes a seeker he becomes someone who is now searching for somebody who can give him this infinite experience or joy how long you will play with toys and chimpanzees and how long will be affected by the outer toys you know when the children are there playing and one toy breaks he starts crying the parents come he said why are you crying tomorrow i'll get you another one nobody but he took away my one small my brother took away the parents why are you crying or balloon was there balloon burst and he's crying sansari people are crying for toys only husband went away wife went away child is like that in laws are like that जॉब बेंट हाउ लॉन्ग यू विल प्ले एंड बी इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द चाइल्ड बाय द टॉयस यूर आर स्मॉल स्मॉल टॉयस मेड आउट ऑफ नेम एंड फॉर्म गो टू टॉयलेस स्टेट he did not meet me he came did not see me i'm so upset 
they made nice food they didn't ask me to it have it also always fasting but they should have at least asked me and kept my fast was over fridge is there they could have kept in the fridge tomorrow i could have eaten that i'm so upset about it nobody cares for me let them eat i'm i'm cursing them no food will digest They ate without giving to me. <laughs> How long you will be playing with the toys and getting upset because one toy you lost, getting happy without one toy you got, got today? I got married. Are you got one toy only for some time, and you are dancing there, balle balle. You are doing, and that husband today is upset. Then you are crying today. Then child is born. Then you are crying. Child is not born. Then you are crying. ये क्या है? ये कब तक चलेगा भाई? Is there a state where these things are not very big for me? Yes. Not it. It is not big. How? What is that state called? I am to that. Then I go to the teacher. I see some saint is there. He has no toys. <laughs> the Pondi had no toy. Gurudev had no toy. <laughs> toy of money, toy of car, toy of big house, no bank balance. Here I am full of everything, and still I am cranky and crying. And there is a Toyota is also there. I don't want this thing. How is that? That state is called state of self, or called God realization, whatever you want to call. But living in the life for thirty, forty years and getting married and working in the office, at least this should be realized. This is not what I was searching, and I was not meant for this thing. I thought child will give me a joy, but the child alone was my problem my whole life. My son alone was a problem, or my daughter alone was a problem in my life. Without my daughter or without this son, I think I would be in a heaven. All our mentally thinking is external, not seeing anything. अरे क्या है इसमें I I didn't get that experience what I expected from this particular object and a person. Same time which I gave to everybody and I didn't I I give him give time to my thoughts. This is state of mind. You want to settle mentally. Settle means I want to be in state of quietness which need does not need any maintenance. You have to maintain the people. If you are son daughter, you have to say all the time. You have to ask, "How are you? Are you okay?" You have to maintain. Bird is there. You have to maintain by wishing them. If you don't wish, then this English wish becomes Hindi wish. <laughs> wish comes from that side. <laughs> wish means poison. So English wish is Hindi poison. English Sanskrit poison. क्या है ये आई वॉन्ट ए स्टेट वेर आई डोंट हैव टू मेंटेन एनी रिलेशन आई हैव नो वर्क आई हैव टोटल फियरलेसनेस आई हैव नो डिजायर एंड ऑल जॉय एंड इफ डेथ कम्स आई एम फेयरली सेइंग ओके आई एम फाइन यू कैन नॉट मेक मी डाई विच इज द क्लेम ऑफ द उपनिषद्स वे अ पर्सन लव दिस स्टेट then he is called a lucky person and he is more lucky if somebody gum comes in his life to facilitate this state of his mind and here is where we are going to enter a new text today 
and that new text is called Srimad Bhagavat. I won't go in detail in everything like I go. I'll, I have taken the topic, important and valuable lessons from Bhagavat that we have to imbibe. I will not go each shloka and shloka in every story, but I'll say what is the main crux here? You have heard already Bhagavat, each shloka you have heard. But first, determine that this is not what I was seeking outside. Okay. Is it, is the solution with Bhagavat? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> okay, can you tell me how is it? I am mean, telling, wait. <laughs> now we are coming, Bhagavat means Bhagavata Hiti. One is of the Bhagavan. When I say of the Bhagavan, there are two meanings to it. One meaning is the whole world is of what is not of Bhagavan. Everything is Bhagavan's only. Your body is also Bhagavan's. Your mind is also Bhagavan. Your house is also Bhagavan. And the whole creation is of the Bhagavan. Therefore, ten topics are dealt in Bhagavan. Sarga, Visarga, Sthan, Poshan, Uti, Manvantar, Ishan, Gata, Nirodha, Ashri, Mukti. Everything is of the Bhagavan only. But I see only what belongs to me. I am not seeing the complete picture. I am sad because I wanted my own creation rather than finding out what is God's creation. Sadness in a person's life is he wants his own imaginary creation to become real. And he does not want the real, the creation of the God to be seen. He doesn't see the whole creation. He wants to see his own imaginary creation becoming real. Got my point? This is called delusion. Huh? I am attached to somebody. This is my imaginary creation that he is very good, she is very good. He is so nice, he is so loving, so magnanimous, so large hearted. So large lunged. So I have my imagination about that person. Now I want this imaginary creation to come in front of my mind. This is called delusion. This is called my worldliness. I am not seeing God's creation. Therefore Sarg and Visarg are mentioned so that I can see Lokas are mentioned in Bhagavat. In fifth canto. But I want to see my creation. I thought if I do this work, I'll be very bigger. And I went to do this work. So imaginary bigness, I want to make it concrete. So imaginary thing, I want to make it concrete. This is called my struggle in life. Bhagavad says why they go, Shanti rakha thoda sa. Remain at peace. Imaginary things, your creation you cannot make too big. What shall I do? Already big creation is there, please see that. If you want to see something, already see God's creation is there, you see that. Why are you making your own creation? <coughs> Somebody went to an saint and he said, I want to write poetries. He said, why? He said, I want to write poetry on Lord Ram Krishna so that people can sing bhajan. So, saint gave one slab. He said, Meera Bhai had written poetry, Kabir had written, Tulsi had written, Balmik, is it rest? But when already it is there, some beautiful, and you cannot write better than that, so why are you putting effort in that? Aap apni srishti kyo bana rahe my family, when God let itself, God's Brahmand is a big house, why are you possessing your own house? Why are you making your own house then? Why don't you see his house and admire? <laughs> why don't you see a space and moon and sun and admire the beauty of Bhagawan, how big you will be? What mind you will be? If you can make sun and Bhishas Math 
वाता पवते भीषो फ्रॉम फ्रॉम होम सन इज स्केर्ड हाउ बिग ही विल बी दैट सन इज स्केर्ड फ्रॉम होम हाउ बिग यू विल बी दैट यू कैन मेक इवनिंग इन द मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग इन द इवनिंग वर्ल्ड इज नॉट मेन टू नॉट मेन टू पजेस वन पार्ट एंड रिजेक्ट अदर पार्ट This is a problem with attachment. When you get attached to somebody, you reject other person. Suppose I am giving too attached to X person, I will give so much attention to X person that Y, Z, W, A, B, C, D all are all are neglected. I talk to you for five hour with him for two minutes. This is bad. i am giving this much time to a x person and you are getting this much also not getting time i made my own house and more own creation and whole struggle is that i am trying to maintain my creation and not reveling and merging in the god's creation this is the sarg and visarg portion aap apna kuch mat banao bhai But I have already made my house. No, no, I'm repeating it. Don't make your house. Say it's God's house. God's house. I'm a temporary. What is it called? Habitant of that house. I have nothing to do with. In your house, please write. This is God's house. Lord Krishna's house. Lord Rama's house. Lord Shiva's house. Devi ji's house. Do be sure. And write second line. All what is done in this house is from my God's consent. i am just making his house not my house you go out to appreciate his world don't make your own world and moment you put minus on somebody you are trying to create your own world your own thoughts so there is a there is a struggle between god's creation and my creation i want to make something which he does not want <clears throat> getting this <laughs> so bhagavat says no already is atatra sarga visarga is there isthanam is there isthanam is means isthanam is no well, isthanam i don't know <laughs> isthanam means everything is at its own place why couldn't vijay This is the definition given of Istana. Why couldn't Vijay that he is the one who has kept everything at its place? I was telling in the morning, I think, that where I was telling that everything is here, well fit. Brain is here, eyes are here. Brain is not in the stomach. Because if brain was this, then stomach, how problematic it will be totally suppressed. Food doesn't go up; it goes down, comes down. And it is well protection is there, the skull is there, so you cannot, you know, hit. Although brain is not working, but still it is covered. And stomach, there is no skull. Because it expands, the skull would have broken long back if it was there. So everything is well placed here. Lungs, Bhagwan have put ribs, protected. If moon comes little closer, one kilometer closer, whole I was telling morning, I think the whole earth will be drowned by the moon, by the by the ocean. everything has its own place is there so bhagwat is meant to appreciate all aspects of our living poshanak there is kripa aspect is there you had not thought that i'll take bhagwat but still god prompted me that is kripa only don't say it is not what you get without being without asking and you don't deserve it still somebody gives you then that is a portion where you feel i should not get it but still i am getting it 
Utaya is the vasna aspect. So Bhagavat will deal completely with our whole life. <clears throat> now, other meaning of Bhagavat, how many are things? Visarg, Visarg, Isthan, Poshan, Uti. Uti, Vasnas. Manvantar, how big is this time? We are small pop-ups. <laughs> Diwali, that should put, yeah, <laughs> that pop-ups, you know, you throw like that. We are like that and we emerge in this world for 40, 70, 80 years. What happened? <clears throat> okay. So we emerge here and after emerging here we do something but our tenure is very short and there is a big bigger world is there that is called Manvantar how big is the time this will be told by Bhagavad then comes Ishanukatha great great people had come great great thoughts they had Amrish had come Prishadra had come then, then, you know, the absorption that Lord Krishna will come. I'll talk about him. Who absorbs our mind and loots our mind. Then, Mukti comes, liberation in the eleventh canto. Then, Ashray comes, that's, everything gets dissolved in the self. That is the twelfth canto. So, for twelfth canto, for this Adishtan called self, all Nine topics are there. So ten topics are there in the Bhagavad which the, you cannot exclude anything from your life. Because we, th we see a very small world. I told you, no, we see a small world. Chodo to, we see a small imaginary polluted world of our mind. We don't see the object also outside. We see a small imaginary world. Now in that world, now this Bhagavat is for what? So in Mahatma, one place it is said in second point, 2.52 Bhakti Jnana Viraganam Sukham Utpadyate Katham Isthapanam Sarvavaraneshu Premupurvam Prayatnatah Here he is saying, Naraji is saying, this Bhagavat, is, what, is, what is to be gained here? Three things. First thing, you know, you should have a lover. You should have some lover. Oh, very good idea you are giving. Yes. Hmm. Oh, I, should, I should search a lover. No, he is already there. You know, discover he is a lover. You want to love him in the day or night? Whole day, night. Okay. You want to love uh, after death or before death? Are by all the time. What kind of lover you want? I want a lover who takes care of me. Who should not leave me. Even if I am not good, I know, but he should not leave me. He should be at all time, he should not leave me. Number two, he should be the one who should, who should not want my attention. He should be so good. Third point, keep on noting, I'll ask you. He should be such that I, sh I should not have to give, he, sh he should not become a liability. Here every be person becomes a liability later. Third point. Fourth point. He should be extremely powerful. Powerful means, he should be extremely powerful. He can give me what I want. I don't want any lover whom I have to maintain, whom I have to take care of. I want a lover whom I don't have to give attention to. <laughs> he should be the one who is very much available. Any time I call him, he is there all the time. Fourth point. So he should be knowledgeable or fool. He should be knowledgeable. If I am if I'm sad, he should lift me. 
अर्जुन वॉज सैड और भगवान केम क्लेब्यम अस्मा गम पार्थ वट एफ दस एपन टू शल्य वॉज द सारथी ऑफ कर्ण ही नेवर से If I'm sad, if I'm I'm doing wrong, somebody should correct me. Somebody should not leave me. Acha, he should be at all time. He should be at all place. He should be very good. He should he should uh, give me knowledge. And I should not maintain my life. He should maintain my life. Oh, very clever. Yes. I should not earn and then eat. He should give me food. I don't mind any food. Ha, huh, that's important. I should not have to run around for food and shelter and whole life when in meeting the ends only. He should just take care of me. Oh, or or kuch, something more. He should talk to me a lot. I am very talkative person. Really, really. I don't talk because people are like that. But but actually, I am I am quite talkative. You should talk to me. Tell me something good. <laughs> Any time if I am crying, he should take away my tears. Sure. If not that five hour I was upset. He should come immediately and he should just lift me up. Hmm. Sometimes he should embrace me. Oh. How many are there? You can keep on going. And if everything happens outside, everything is fine. You should save me at all time, like Prahlad Ji was saved. Huh. Hmm. Or what now? I don't mind dying if I can get him again. Oh, very intelligent. Yes. Next birth, I don't mind. He should be there. Somebody told me, but I don't mind dying, Swamiji. You should be there next birth. I said you troubled me this birth. Next birth also won't trouble. So this. So this is another point. Five point seven point. Who should be there at all place? At all time, he can do all my work. Hmm? He should give me knowledge. He should lift my spirits. Never allow me to be sad. He should protect me. He should be good-looking also, of course. Looks matter. So he should be good-looking also. Or good. Food, shelter is covered. Everything else. He should take care of my ego, calm, growth. He should destroy. Oh, very clever, yes. <laughs> calm, growth, ego, anger, irsha, dwesh. He should destroy. Is it possible? Why not? Why not? Yes. Tell me, can a worldly lover be like that? Why do you say you want God? This is called bhakti. Our biggest requirement of life is discovering such a lover. who does not leave me who gives me knowledge who gives me assurance when everybody has left still i feel he is there i am not afraid of dying because death also is his name any disease come i feel no he is there with me i don't mind a disease if somebody loves you and he is with you you don't mind a disease also at least he is with me such a lover is called god he is called krishna and ram <coughs> this is the biggest requirement first biggest requirement with bhagavad ji is going to give now is the prayojan of bhag bhakti gyan viraganam sukham utpadyate katham hmm. we don't know what to want well, like a child is there small baby you keep one toy small toy you keep you know toy small car or something and you keep 5000 10000 dollars he'll tear the dollar and take the toy <laughs> he doesn't know the value of that 
people don't know the value of that so supposing here i keep ram ji's murti and ravana's murti here and as many people are there so many murti so many pairs are there whose murti will you take <laughs> and you have to choose a murti out of two ram and ramas whose murti will you take ram's murti what am i asking such a question i won't take ravan in my house the both are there and whole audience each one has to take one of them you can't take both ram and ravan both are gift here okay so naturally you will say i'll take ram why why ram murti will take why you will take ram ji's murti ha huh? because you love ram ji you love the values of ram ji you heard ramayan of ram ji ठीक, ओके सपोजिंग रावण स्मूर्ति इज ऑफ गोल्ड एंड राम जी स्मूर्ति ऑज ऑर्डनरी प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस नाउ हु मूर्ति विल यू टेक एंड नो बडी इज देयर अराउंड यू एंड नो बडी इज सींग ऑल्सो एवरीबडी हेज लेव यू टू चूज वन एंड गो अवे नो बडी यू रिकॉर्ड इट क्या हुआ वैल्यू उसको वॉट है योर लव अवर वैल्यू सिस्टम अवर लव इज सो फ्लिमजी अवर लव शुड बी सो मैडनिंग लव एंड देर इज वन लवर वेटिंग फॉर अस वन हु गिव्स दिस लवर एंड मैनिफेस्ट दिस लवर इज कॉल्ड भागवत then second thing what was second thing vairagya to protect this lover which i made in my heart i am not making anybody sorrow and joy personal no world has i am not personalizing the world deep personalization of the all people of the world success failure is called dispassion first bol dete deep personalization of the people of the world their sorrows joy insult honor dishonor is called dispassion only your son is crying a lot okay i will i will see what i can do i'll try to help him out i'll try my best but i am so upset because of that his crying that i fainted now son who was crying he stopped crying and i am taking my care i take everybody's sorrows what the world gives the sorrows and joy i put it in my core of my heart this is called foolish living he said that i am very much i i am totally i am totally gone today are kya aaj this is called dispassion aspect and third was knowledge aspect bhakti gyan viraganam sukham utpadyate katham so how i can have a dispassion through which i can not i mean i may be able to i'm able to huh reduce the impact of the world in my mind of any person's behavior good bad in my mind is called dispassion this is the second aspect first was giving you a lover second is this and third is knowledge knowledge of really who that lover is what is the essential nature of that lover these three things are the prayojanam of shrimad bhagavat and this alone should be wanted rest is all details now let us go so i'm not going to the mahatma and everything there is one story comes in the mahatma of dhundukari if you remember dhundukari is there you remember the story i will not tell the story but i'll tell what is the main thing there was one brahman his name was atmadev atmadev and he was very rich but very kanjus but he had wife her name was dhunduli god places somebody life in your life to give you dispassion biggest blessings of 
God is that some people, what you cannot get this passion by satsang. <laughs> Their behavior is such. <laughs> Their attitude is such. Their living is such that automatically your whole life changes without going through meditation. So this Atmadev, he had a wife, terrible wife, because she was fighting a lot. And but he had no son. When he had no son, so he went, he was saying, oh, so unfortunate. Definition of unfortunate you decide sometimes by what you don't have. But I'm telling you, with what you thought of being unfortunate, that alone becomes fortunate little. If by worldly parameters you are deciding I am unfortunate of not having something worldly, in due time that will convert into you will feel I am very fortunate because I don't have that. Because of which you thought in the world I am very fortunate. That becomes very unfortunate in the long run sometimes. Not I am not saying a rule. So he felt, I'm so unfortunate, I have no son. So he went out. He saw one saint was there. He said, please, can you give me some mantra through which I can have son? Saint said, bhai, as far as I can see, seven births you don't have a son. He started hitting his head. Who? What is the name? Atmadeva. He said, Are, what are you doing? Muncha jnanam prajarupam balishtha karmano gati vivekam tu samasadya tej samsar vasanam Leave everything what you have not got. God has automatically given you, made you free from a certain area of thinking. He said, please don't talk philosophy to me. What will happen by sannyas? Sannyasa shushkevi. Don't talk about dry dry things, sannyas. I, I want some kilkari in my house. Me, me, mummy, mummy, papu, papu. I want to hear such words. I want to hear cries of the baby. <laughs> Putra di sukhi hino hi am. What is this sannyas? All the time you are doing, putting on this thing and sitting like that. Is this a life? Some excitement is required. If you don't give me something, I'll commit suicide. He said, okay, give this fruit to your wife. So sannyasi, somebody must have given him fruit in bhiksha. So he carried a fruit. So he gave to his wife, wife was terrible, dhundali was her name. And she thought, who will carry the child? I will become pregnant, lot of pain is there, labor pain is there. So she gave this fruit to, to cow. And her sister was carrying, he said, you give me your baby, I will give you money, so that my husband will be happy. But I won't carry and cause is, if the decades come, how will I run? If I am having the child. So that cow ate the fruit and she, and this, her, her sister, sister, that means she purchased the child from the sister. And his name was given Dundukari. What a name. And this Dundukari was a terrible boy. He used to bring prostitute in the house, he used to kill everybody, he used to loot. And this Atmadev who was a Brahmin, he got totally depressing this person. And the cow gave birth to another boy, cow gave birth to boy, whose name was Gokarn, his ears were very big and he was Pandit. And very illustrious, very bright, chanting, coming on the class on time. Huh, chanting loudly, doing the homework properly, not getting upset on each other, very loving. So such kind of go karn was there. Very meditative, serving the teacher like that. And this dhundukari was terrible now. Anyway, ultimately this, what is his name? Go, Atmadev. He said, oh, that sannyasi was so right. So unlucky I am because I have a son. So 
so happy I was without him. You don't know this much of happiness, unhappiness you have. After getting worldly joy, this much you have will have. This much joy has this much sorrow as its cost. Ten minutes sorrow, ten minutes joy has ten years sorrow as its cost. You can decide the deal. He got, he said, go karan bita idhara. He said, I'm very sad. He said, Pitaji, Asara khalu samsara dukh rupi vimoha kaha suta kasya dhanam kasya snevan jolate nisham Bole, this world is so flimsy. There is no, there is no experience which is world, worth holding on this world. It is deluding world. Whose is money? Whose is house? Whose is son? There is no joy in all these things. So leave that he is my son. Anybody who is troubling you, just say he is not mine or she is not mine or it is not mine. And detach. Then he said, what to do? Sarvam tektva padam padam panam garaja. Go to the forest now. Go to the mashram, it means. The forest is not there. Who said? Gokarn Ji said to. To? Atma Deva. Go and revel in Leela of Lord Krishna. He said, Gokarn Bita, you know Leela of Lord Krishna? He said, yes. Can you tell some of that? It is not written. It is written that you should constantly hear. He gave up there. Sometimes after getting something we realize it should not be got. <laughs> so leave it. Pashya anisham jagadidam chana mangan ishtam. Well you don't see everything is so. It is there and not there. Vairag rag rasiko bhava. Have dispassion. Make yourself little away from the closest person in your life. Go to the saint. Sevasu sadhu purushan jahi kamatrishnam. Anyasya lok dosh gunung chintanam ashu tektva. Leave thinking about his good, his bad. Think about the Lord. When Lord Krishna first met Devki Vasudeva. In the prison he met after killing Kans. You know what he said? So Devaki went back. Because she knew this is Narayan. Bhagavan put his Maya. He said, Ma, please forgive me. For eleven years, every son, every mother wants to see his child. I was not for your seva. He Bhagavan Krishna. Anywhere he came from outside, first he went not to meet his wife. First he went to put his head at the feet of his mother. This is Lord here. I was saying that you need some, some, some lover you need. We have not made our lover in our life. We have all made disloyal lovers. And we try to expect loyalty from disloyal world. And the one who is the loyalest lover, I don't want him. Hmm. I don't want that Krishna and that Ram who runs when Sudama comes. Hmm. When Ugrasen became the king, Bhagwan Krishna used to stand like ordinary subject and offer Namaskar. When Yudhishthir was to walk, Bhagwan Krishna used to go behind and walk, never in front of him. And when Yudhishthir and Pandavas used to sleep in the camp, Bhagwan used to sit in Bajras and then do guarding of their camps. What do you know about God? This unfortunate part in our life is we don't know the nature of God. We don't know 
that he is the one who can provide everything i need he said pita ji leave it i will take care of everything mole my daughter my son mole leave this minus doesn't belong to you jeev has no relation with the jeev this house has no relation with you you just be, be of the lord krishna today go he said beta what shall i contemplate he said contemplate on lord's face this is what i said bringing out this hidden desire is the work of mahatmas that desire is not new it is to be brought out like the churner brings the butter out of the milk of the curd he said no need you think you are needed a lot but you are not needed as much as you think you are not needed in the world as much you are not as much needed for your relatives also as you think but if you pass away still people will live if you pass away as a husband wife mother father for few days they will be upset sad but after one year they let just and they will smile maybe smile more you think you are very indispensable but you are not please attend to god go and fulfill your final responsibility think of lord krishna bhagwan is waiting for you yukto hare he anudinam paricharya yaso and he went to the forest every day he chanted 10th canto only this is written here dashamasya pathat krishnam aap he attained lord krishna dashamasya pathat niyatam regularly Mm-hmm. Padma Puran and Iskand Puran gives the Mahatma. He is not the one who is. Uh, he said, "Okay, I got the message. People give the message. World gives the message, but we are bad rece- receivers. World gives the message. Don't at- get attached. I won't be with you. World constantly gives the message. Don't think I'll be with you. I will not be with you." i will not follow you i will not not i will not listen to you on all issues i'm not for you don't think i will leave, i will not leave you i will leave you <laughs> every day personally i get get the same messages don't think i'm i'm for you i'm not for you don't think i'll fulfill your expectation i won't fulfill your expectation you may have your ideas but i have my own ideas sorry no i wanted you should be like that i cannot acha i am like that i have my own ideas i will list you new on a b c d issue not of on w x y z issues okay be with me i'll try when i'll time i'll be with you but i cannot be with you at all time oh. <laughs> sorry i'm like that i can't change my mind is like that so be humble i'm trying <laughs> you don't get this message only i get everybody of this world gets the same messages and it's still like a foolish person we go and jump and embrace the world and again it shrugs us off don't embrace me i i i'll prick you as i i'm i'm good only as you as you don't embrace and hug me moment i embrace my thorns come out I'm not meant to be embraced. Don't come very close to me. But you look very good from a distance. 
Tolyanin in the river, somebody was shivering and he thought one blanket was going on. He jumped and caught the blanket. It was a bear. Bears are very dangerous. <laughs> they can kill. <laughs> Similarly, you are caught killed then. Similarly, world is also there. Appearing warmth of the people, appearing coolness of the people. They are like the hidden bear is there on the top you are seeing very much. They are all very dangerous. Moment you hug anybody, embrace anybody, get close, you will be in trouble. Pitaji, he said, Who? Go, Karanji. Your time is over now. Don't disturb the crease now. Umpire has given the sign. Go. You are not learning? You wanted child? No? You embrace the child. See what happened. Relations will give a joy. I am not saying they have no joy. First thing, they will not give that joy which you thought. And number two, the cost of that joy is that you have to pay for their attention, their moods, you have to live with their whims. You have to be concerned about them, you have to get worried about them. You have to run around them like a chakri. Ten work you do, they are not happy. Eleventh you don't do. They will always, always point it out. If somebody is very good, then also problem because somebody else is possessing him. And then in between some sweet dishes there. Some sweet moments are also there. How are you? Very good. Tere bina bhi kya jena. I am so lovely. You are so lovely. We will spend time together. All this. Again the Peter think Karela is more. Sweet dish is very less. He said, Pitaji, are you seeing that? He said, who? See the Lord here. Well, ha, this is Lord. Well, he is waiting for you. See his smile. His hug has no him. Pricks. He will take my care. Huh? He has no moods. He, he, he has no selfishness in loving. He doesn't say, don't expect from me. I won't give you what you want. He said, Aham to asar pape bhya moksha shyami. He is calling. See, he is calling. See his hands. Go and touch his hands. Hold his hands. See the twinkling in his eyes. Compare him and your family. Repeat him in your mind. <laughs> Become his. He will accept me. Yes. He is the only one who accepts everybody. He will listen. He will listen and talk. He will give me knowledge. No. He is giving knowledge. <laughs> Even if I don't cook, I don't be around, he will take care. He will live anywhere, but don't be don't become of any person. Mentally think I belong to God. I have I have nothing to take, nothing to give to anybody. I have to take the grace of God and give my love to him through the people if required. And if you are like Vanaprasti directly, I'll give him the love. This Atma Dev left the home and attained God. When you start fulfilling your expectation only through God, then you become a devotee. I have no expectation, He will give me knowledge, He will give me life. I don't want it. I know He won't give that. I failed, I found that. Personally, I found in my life not a one person was there who could fulfill my expectation. And in everybody's life, not a one person you will find who can fulfill all your expectation. And those who fulfilled the expectation, they had their own toll tax also. 
I will go for Lord and I will full, get my full, full expectation fulfilled. I don't want. I was wanting to be loved a lot today. What shall I do? Nowhere to go. I just sat in front of Lord. Took his murti, embraced him for half an hour. I got his love. I felt thank you. I had headache. I thought whom to set. Headache is there. I went and put my head in front of God. I said, Bhagwan, I have headache. And headache good went to me. The ability to seek emotional solutions from God is devotion. The ability to seek emotional solutions from God is called devotion. Then I am free. He went and he started contemplating on Lord. So three things are important in Bhagavad. We'll see more.